If you or a loved one are struggling with type 2 diabetes, you should visit the link in the description below. This clinically proven drug-free program lowers blood sugar to a normal level and can completely reverse type 2 diabetes within just a few weeks. Here's today's video. The question, which are the foods to avoid for diabetics? Answer by John Shore. I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes last March, 2017. I chose not to take any medications so I changed my diet and lifestyle. This is for type 2 diabetes, not type 1. For the first 6 weeks I went on a low carb high fat diet, LCHF. I did not eat more than 20 grams of carbs a day. That lowered my blood sugar to the normal range. Then I adjusted that diet for me. I did not eat more than 50 grams of carbs a day and low to moderate that. No sugar. No sugary drinks, no fruit juices, no sweet fruits, no refined flour, no potatoes or potato products. It was not easy changing so drastically but I did not want to end up like my dad, who had type 2 diabetes, injecting insulin every day and dying of diabetes anyway. That imagery helped. Also, I created a specific mindfulness meditation and recorded it for myself to help get through all the changes. I even make it available now to others as an audio that can be downloaded called the Dieting Mindfulness Meditations. Stress will also raise your blood sugar levels. You can meditate to reduce stress. Now, 9 months later, my blood sugar is perfect every day. I now live in Italy so I do eat pasta and pizza when I feel like it. I also eat a lot of salads with olive oil and vinegar. Fish, chicken, eggs, veggies, nuts. I make my own sugar-free barbecue sauce and sauces. If I want something sweet I eat chocolate with stevia. Still no sugar, no sweet fruits. I will eat apples, berries. Also, I walk every day, at least 4 kilometers usually more. Especially after a high carb meal like pizza. As long as I do all of this my blood glucose and A1C stays perfect. I am hoping that after a year I will be able to eat some of the beautiful pastries around here. So to summarize, read as much as possible about diabetes. No sugars, no maple syrup, no honey, no fruit sugars, no sugar substitutes except stevia, no refined flours, starches, low carbs, eat moderate portions, exercise, mediate, lower stress levels. This worked for me and works for most other people. I have lost about 15 pounds doing this so far. Losing weight helps as well. Anyone who tells you that you can eat moderate amounts of sugar does not have to deal with diabetes and does not check their blood glucose level every day. Maybe one day you will be able to eat sugar again, but not now. Answer by Tony Sangster, T51 years. Please note that the following is not to be taken as medical advice or opinion. There will be previous questions and answers on this topic. Briefly, foods with a high GI and GL index, C. Mendoza. Com. Also also avoid excessively fatty foods but make exceptions for vegetable oils and walnuts, sesame seeds, and for fish oil and sardines. I like to keep the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 FF8 to near 1 to 2 to 1 to 4. I avoid foods with trans fats in them. They are bad fats. I also choose foods as close to 120 mg slash 100 ml or G or less of sodium as I can. Sodium I associate with fluid retention and increase in blood pressure, Google, salt matters. Because in Australia salt is iodized, a low sodium diet could increase risk of iodine deficiency, so my fish intake helps to counter that, C-A-L-S-O. Salt matters. Answer by, Snor Aspie Rubin. None. There is nothing that you shouldn't eat, as a diabetic. There is a lot of stuff that you should only eat in moderation, but that doesn't differ in any way from non-diabetics. The only difference between you and people who don't have diabetes is that the consequences are bigger should you fail to eat in moderation. So to sum up, eat according to the general, official health advice, lots of vegetables, lots of fiber, slow carbs, sugar, and other fast carbs in moderation. 